a bad back. Oh, you got a bad back? Yeah, from pushing his car when I had a dead battery. <laughs> See you guys across the street. Well, kiss my grits! Hmm? Why, Vera, you're blushing. Yeah. <laughs> seen anybody blush in years <laughs> except the guys you go out with Mel, kiss my grits then why'd you take it because she was afraid she was too stupid to pass it i was not then why didn't you take it i'll tell you why kiss my grits <laughs> I can get 20 dinners out of one turkey. And I'm only going to be charged you five bucks for a complete dinner. There's no place in town I can match that price. I can clean up. Mel, Flo and Vera and I have planned to have dinner with Tommy and three homeless kids tomorrow. Well, forget it. You're going to work tomorrow and that's it. I don't know why you're belly aching. Think about the tips you're going to make. Mel, on behalf of Vera, Alice, and myself, and in the spirit of Thanksgiving, kiss my grits. <laughs> You're fired too, Clover. It's all right. It's all right, girls. Uh, people Grams is hiring new people every day, and I'm sure there'll be jobs for you both as messengers. Oh, great. Good. Oh, do you think they'll want the three of us to sing together? You bet. Why not? They don't. The gong show would. <laughs> Mel, kiss my grits. Flo, how is it that I have trouble handling one man and you can juggle a whole string of them? <laughs> I guess practice makes perfect. You sure get lots of practice. Mel, kiss my grits. <laughs> Come on, Flo, how about my kiss? When donkeys fly. <laughs> well, on that note, uh, Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> happy New Year, Flo. <laughs> Happy New Year, honey. <laughs> oh, kiss my grits! Have at it, Mel. No way. Nobody swims on a work day. Except a salmon. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Vera? Well, a salmon goes upstream to lay her eggs, so she's certainly swimming on a working day. <laughs> Well, if Flo wants to swim upstream to lay her eggs, fine. Otherwise, forget it. Mel, kiss my grits. You know, when I was their age, I used to do my homework in the barn, and instead of jam on my car, I'd have hay in my hair. At the end of the semester, I bet you had enough to feed a horse. Mel, kiss my grits. Come on, gang, let's go. I can't believe it. It's the end of Mel's diner. Bye, diner. Just a minute. <clears throat> Mr. Briggs, on behalf of Mel and Alice and Vera and myself, I'd like to say farewell, good luck, and kiss my grand! <laughs> Uh, oh, there is one thing I should tell you. What's that, sweetie? No matter how much of Phoenix you show me after dark, I'm still not going to sell the diner back to Mel. <laughs> well, there is one other thing that I should tell you. What's that? Kiss my grits! All right, but what are you doing? Oh, we just dropped in for a piece of your yummy pecan pie. I don't serve any woman who tells me to kiss her grits. <laughs> well, just so I won't spend another sleepless night browsing through Bartlett's familiar quotations. <laughs> what exactly is grit kissing? <laughs> hey, Flo. Why don't you try out for this play? Me? Oh, no. Alice will probably be Cinderella. <laughs> I was thinking of the, um, <laughs> ugly stepsister. You gonna settle for a second-hand description, or are you gonna see him yourself? I couldn't care less what he looks like. Oh, Flo, you're chicken. Mel, 
Well, Sharples, I may be a lot of things, but I ain't chicken, and you know that. Then why won't you see your father? Well, because Alice is ain't... Because she's chicken! Oh, Mel, kiss my grits! 